Better up, sports card fans. Happy Flagship Friday. What is going on? How are you? How was your week? My week was very hectic because I am going to the Yankee card show, uh, autograph show, I should say, put on by Hall of Fame Signings.com. Uh, it is going to be, as a Red Sox fan, uh, I can only think of one event worse, and that was the New York Giants football team autograph show that I went to in September. That was brutal because literally every single person that was there and signing autographs, ooh, we need to get our handy dandy cleaner here. Boom, boom, boom. Make sure this is nice and clean for you. Uh, every single player that was at that Giants show beat the Patriots in two Super Bowls. Uh, and so I was not happy about that. <laughs> but uh, it still was a great show. Awesome organization. Uh, Hall of Fame signings.com. Check them out. They do a ton of autographs. Um, really, really great guys that work there. Um, and so if you ever go to one of the shows, let me know because I might be there. This is Jed Lowry, I just, I swear, I every time I like open these cards, I'm like, have I never seen that card before? But every once in a while, something pops up. Nico Horner was in the last one. And I was like, boy, that just looks brand new to me. Um, so I don't know if it's just the collation, uh, uh, how they have it, but uh, there we go. Brandon Marsh. Some of them just look completely brand new to me. It's crazy. All right. So, yeah, so this is, uh, it was a lot of prep for, for the uh, autograph show. Had to get a bunch of balls ready. Had to order everything. Max Scherzi coming up. The uh, Corbin Burns is always a nice fake out because in series one, he was the tell incoming wander but unfortunately in chrome that's not the case so we don't get the wander we do get a josiah gray we also get a shohei otani with a gnarly print line so we'll put it up there for now but that really that print line does not warrant puts it puts it out of commission for being a top 10 card in this break Corey Seager, we also have a print line on that and a print line on this. Oh, boy. Just this whole box is going to be like that. We get Brandon Lowe, Grinky. Uh, I don't see the print line on the Acuna, so there we go. Boy, some of those are just brutal, though. Solaire has the print line. Ashby has the print line. It's like the first two cards in every single one. So did Josiah Gray have it? Josiah Gray did not have it. And he was in front of... Uh, he was in front of Shohei. All right, so we are down to our last pack. And overall, a pretty underwhelming box, if I do say so myself. So let's see if we can't pull out a little banger here. We've gotten the two refractors. We're getting another refractor. It might be a black and white uh, that's not reversed. It is. Look at these print lines. No print line on that. Justin Turner, newest Red Sox. Yipes. And Miggy Cabrera. That's a nice one. A little off center, but that's a nice one. Um, all right. So first off, overall... That one was a little tough, but that's okay. We're going to bounce back. We need to pick up a Goldschmidt or a Judge out of this. So let's see what we can do. Luis Garcia. That Nico Horner that I just showed you, that was the card that I was like, is that a brand new card? <laughs> Lance Lynn. Sepia. So how are you doing? What's going on? How's your week been? Um... Any fun plans for the weekend? You guys know my plans. Oh, I think I like this one. There it is. Wander, baby. And Bregman. All right, so Shohei's out of here. 
We'll move Acuna over, Turner over, and we get Wander up here. Stack of cards, doesn't want to stay up. All right, so already we're off to a, a better start here. Let's see if we can keep the good jujus going, the positivity. Let's get excited. We are going to get a Freddie Freeman prism and a Mitch Haniger. After that, with another Matt Olson. Didn't we pull a Matt Olson pink already? There it is, doubling up on the Matt Olson pinks. You want one? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Or, here, tell you what. Head on over to Whatnot during my next uh, my next um, show. And if you come into my Whatnot stream and be like, hey, give me that pink Matt Olson, I'll give it to you for free. How about that? How about that? Casey Mize, the little Matt Manning behind it. So if you want that Matt Olson, Check out my whatnot, and you can see my schedule of videos and when I will be going live. Look at this. We're just doubling up on everything here. Whew. Shane Boz. All right, you're going to take the place of Schwarber. And we get the Verlander sepia. We got three packs left. We're going to double up here. We might as well double up on a negative of Wander. Franco, how about that? Jack Flaherty, Shohei, and Lance Lynn. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess the prisms are going to get condensed. Because I want to get that Shohei up there. All right. You have to leave this spot open. If you are new to the channel, we have to leave that open. Because you have to coax it out of the packs sometimes. You got to be like, listen, card gods. I'm not happy with what I've seen here. I need something bigger, like a blue parallel. It is not going to be an autograph. It's not going to be Goldschmidt or Judge as it is a sideways Cleveland Guardians. It is an autograph. Holy moly, I didn't think it was. Wow, Gabriel Arias. So that is, uh, as far as I know... As far as I know, that is a short print autograph, correct? Because he is not, I don't believe, oh my goodness, look at the off-centering. The same off-center as the Jaron Duran, left and right and up and down. And this is an autograph one. They printed this and they were like, you know what? That's perfect. That is exactly how we want it to look. So that is huge. Wow. That's why you leave that top spot open. And theoretically, I should still leave that top spot open. But we're going to allow it to go and take that top spot. Wow, wow, wow. So although not one of the extended short prints that's not in there, it is his short print autograph. I guess is what you would call it. Let me know if you know what to call that. But I think that's his short... He's not in the base set because uh, he's an update. Um, so that has to be his considered a short print. Oh, there we go. A Brandon Marsh refractor to end out the video. How are you doing? Perfectly centered too. So there we go. We get a little Brandon Marsh show today. We don't get any of the uh, buyback cards. And uh, I think I'm okay with that, given what we did pull. Uh, I'm going to put Josiah Gray and Duran in the same pile. So unfortunately, there is the centering issue with it. Let's adjust the light here so you can see it a little bit better. Um, let's see. We'll move it back there. There we go. So you could definitely see the the off-centering top to bottom or whatever. But uh, the autograph looks excellent. The blue wave color match. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. It's numbered out of 150. Holy moly, that's a huge card. That's really, really cool. Uh, hopefully that young kid has a great, great career. 
And uh, that card just continues to skyrocket, and uh, it'll be in my PC as long as I can justify keeping it, uh, and the price isn't uh, crazy. Because cards that I pull, I love to keep. I'm like, oh, this is great, I want to keep this. But when the prices get, like the Julio Rodriguez short print that I pulled, I immediately had to sell it, because I was like, it just it doesn't make sense to keep it. You know, the Wander, uh, Wander Rainbow Foil is a perfect example. Sold it day of, first day, for $180, and I bought two back for $30 each. So it's like, okay, that's a big win. And then I can sell one when it gets up and go, gets crazy again, you know? So um, that's kind of how I typically like to do it. But a card like this where there's only 150 out there, that's one that I hang on to for a little bit. And let's see... Uh, what kind of career he can have. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell icon so you get notified every time we post a daily video, including bangers like this. Um, and then head on over to Instagram, Twitter, and whatnot, and give me a follow at GDubs Collects. If you do not have a whatnot account yet, please check out the description below. There is a link in there to give you a free $10. And then if you spend it in my channel, you spend it on my show, I get a free $10 too. So if you've ever wanted to say thank you to G-Dubs, that is the way to do it. Because it's it costs you, well, it costs you $10, theoretically. You spend the $10, you get the $10 back. So it's uh, it, it theoretically costs you $10. But you get the $10 back. I get $10 and you get some beautiful free cards. What's not to love about that? What's not to love about what not? Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Keep the hobby alive. Keep on collecting.